Good evening. I'm Joe Leo, here with another 18XX training video. Attached to my copy of 1848 were three brand new private companies for 1846. These new private companies should give a boost to the CNO Railroad. There are actually two new companies and one reprinted or reworded private company. The Meatpacking Company is one of the original privates. The wording has been changed at the end of the statement so that it adds income to the company's routes, not all routes. The first new private is Boomtown. The owning corporation may place a $20 token in Cincinnati to add $20 to all of its routes run to this location. Little Miami is our second new private. If no track exists from Cincinnati to Dayton, the owning corporation may lay or upgrade one extra towel in each of these hexes that adds connecting track. These are zero cost towels. Okay, let's see what we can do with these two new privates. Just for this uh, walkthrough or discussion, I have $400 starting cash. We're going to make the assumption that we were able to get both Boomtown and Little Miami in the draft and that we decided to start the Chesapeake. All right, so paying for the privates, there's 40, 80 for Boomtown and Little Miami, and we would go to our par. So we're going to, just for argument's sake, par the CNO at 80, and we're going to buy four shares because I just happen to have $320. So we have $320, which is a very pretty number. We get four shares of the Chesapeake. And we are part at $80. So what do we do? We're going to take it as the first operating round. And of course, we pay the privates. So I have $25 for my two privates, and we have to build out of Huntington. Huntington is mountainous, so that token, right, or that towel right there, is going to cost us $60. Well, let's pay for that before I do anything else. Now, we have basically two options. We can go straight to Dayton, or we could attempt the curve to Cincinnati. We're going to try the straight first. And of course, we're going to need some additional money. So let's go ahead and issue three shares of Chesapeake for an additional $210. So there's 100, 200, and $10. All right, we already paid for the track, and we fall back because we don't. Uh, we need to buy a train. So, paring eighty, it's going to be hard pressed to say how many twos are going to be left. So, for this discussion, or we're going to buy a two for eighty, and we're going to buy a four for one eighty. That seems like a nice middle of the road. So, two hundred and sixty. There's one hundred. 260 out. So we have our trains, we fall back, and then we would go to the second OR. So we're going to get our $25 for our privates, and Chesapeake is going to buy in the Little Miami. So it pays us $40. It's a little Miami, and then we're going to go, let's see, we'll do a Sharp City in Dayton, and a straight through Cincinnati. Now, with my towel build, well, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to buy in Boomtown. For 40 
and put the token there. And then we can spend 20 to upgrade Cincinnati. Let's make sure we lay it correctly. There we go. Pay 80. Get a token there. It would be nice if I would have, you know, let's go ahead. Instead of three, let's do four, because that would give me another $70 last OR. And so now I can spend 60 to make the connection to Louisville. And then we would run our trains. So we'd be able to run the two train here for 120 and the four train for 190, 210, 230, 250. 250, it's not quite enough for double jump or a half pay and double jump, but we could half pay it. So 50. 120, 190, 210, 230, 250. That'd be uh, half paying that would be 13 per share. So 13, 26, 52. And we'll assume we have $2 there because I want to dig it out. And 52 to the company. And then uh, we got $90 in the company. We get our single jump from our half pay, and the company would also get another 120 Not bad setup. We end the, the with 100 We have $200 for the next stock round. Company has plenty of cash to upgrades. Granted, there's some shares in the market, but it's not a bad start. What else could you do with it, do you think? How could Big Four use it? I could see that maybe using the O&I, we can get to Cleveland pretty quickly. All in all, I kind of like that. We're... Uh, CNO. CNO, it's definitely got a, a boost from this expansion. Uh, thank you very much. And now some exciting news. Josh Starr and Grand Trunk Games has announced 1889 Kickstarter starting December 11th. 1889 is one of the most suggested entry points into the 18xx genre. I've put a link to the Kickstarter preview page in the description of the video. Good luck, Josh. I hear the conductor. That means it's time to go. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and a comment. Until next time, have fun training.